Fire in the pit barrel hole. Let's smoke some cigars. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome once again to my backyard barbecue. What we're doing today is we're going to smoke some Cuban cigars. Uh, a Cuban cigar is not what you think it is. We're going to start this out. Let me get a piece of, uh, this is a slice of uh, pork loin chop, thinly sliced. And we're going to pound it out even thinner than it already is with my meat hammer. Now I still say meat hammer would be a great name for a heavy metal group. But I don't know. I'm getting some pushback on that. So anyway, yeah, I'm just going to lightly, gently pound out my uh, already thin, super thin pork chops, pork loin chops. Very thinly sliced already. But we want to make it a little bit more uh, spread out, if you know what I mean. I'm going to lightly pound them out with my meat hammer. Of course, meat hammers are a great name for a heavy metal man. Seems to me. Okay, I think I got the size that I want right there. So the next thing we need to do is get some ham. Now first, let's put some mustard on there. Let's drop a little bit of yellow mustard on that uh, pork loin chop. Then we need a piece of ham. Let me get some ham over here. I apologize, I should have opened the package already, and I didn't, but that's easily remedied. I'll open the package now. Here we go with some ham. This is just uh, some deli ham, nothing special about it. Thin slice of ham on there. On top of my pork loin chop, a slice of ham, and that mustard is in there. And then we've got some Swiss cheese we're going to put on there. And I'll probably have to trim the Swiss cheese. I don't know. I don't know if I will or not. And now I can't get this open because my hand is slippery. I need a paper towel. Stay tuned. I think I would have everything ready, wouldn't you? But I don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's get the Swiss cheese on there. We've got pork, ham, and Swiss cheese. What does that remind you of? Cuban sandwich? Maybe. Let's put that piece of Swiss cheese on there. Like that. Okay. Then we need some more, more mustard, I think. Just a little bit more mustard. You know, it won't hurt. A little mustard on there. And then we've got some pickles. Let's throw some pickles on there. Maybe one. One or two slices of dill, I'm going to call it three, three slices of dill pickle chips. There you go. Now we're going to roll that up and then we're going to uh, uh, wrap it in bacon. So let me see. I think I want to roll it up this way, like this, so that I have everything in the cigar shape, supposedly. That's the way it's supposed to work. Anyway, yeah, there we go. That's practically, it's almost a cigar shape, isn't it? Uh, let me get some bacon and we'll wrap that puppy in bacon. Stay tuned. Okay, I've got a slice of good old American pork belly bacon. We're going to take that cigar thingy, put it on there like that, and wrap it over that way one time, and wrap it over that way another time. Then we're going to get another slice of bacon and wrap it the round way. You know what I'm saying. This way. Bacon. Is there anything better than bacon? Uh, i got to get that wrapped up. Wrapped up in bacon. Somehow, some way, it's got to be wrapped in bacon. If I have to use three slices, that's not a problem. i got enough bacon. But we have to eventually, yes, one more slice, I think. One more slice of good old American pork belly bacon. Right like this. There we go. And I've got my Cuban cigar wrapped up in bacon. And he's almost ready to put in the pit barrel. But first we've got to hit him with some uh, Uncle Steve's shake. Let me get a paper towel over here. 
so I can wipe my hands. Looks pretty good already, doesn't it? Yeah, we got some Uncle Steve Shake. If you want, if you'd like to try some Uncle Steve Shake, be a subscriber to my channel. Leave a comment on this video, and I'll pick one lucky subscriber to get some Uncle Steve Shake. Uncle Steve Shake is a good barbecue rub that you will like. I guarantee it. Uncle Steve's been making barbecue rubs for a long time, and uh, he's a good dude, Uncle Steve. Anyway, there you go. It's ready for the smoker. I gotta make about six more of those, which I'm not gonna bore you with, but I'm gonna get them on the pit barrel and get them cooking, and uh, then we're gonna glaze them with some barbecue sauce when they're almost done. I gotta get my thermometer in there. I've gotta cook that to about 165 until the bacon wraps up on there and gets nice and crispy. And then we'll glaze them with some barbecue sauce and uh, cook them the rest of the way. Then it'll be time to take a drink a beer, I'm sorry, drink a beer and take a taste. Stay tuned. I only had enough bacon to make four of those cigars, but uh, that's fine. I got them in the pit barrel, got them smoking, got a little bit of mesquite wood down there producing a light smoke. I got my thermometer, my inkbird thermometer in that one. We're going to cook that till it gets to about 165 degrees. Then we're going to glaze them with some barbecue sauce. Then it'll be time to eat and drink a beer, so stay tuned. Oh, my Cuban cigars are coming along very nicely. I'm going to glaze them up with a little bit of barbecue sauce. Just some generic grocery store style barbecue sauce. That's all. Nothing special. I need a new brush. Anybody want to send me a new brush, a barbecue brush? My old one broke. And all I got left is this little dinky thing. Yeah, so let me get these glazed up. <laughs> these are looking good already. Got to be careful not to burn myself on these hot rods. Hot rods? Yeah, they're hot. Yeah, let me just glaze those up with some barbecue sauce. Let me get them flipped over and glaze the other side. We'll, uh, I think we're ready to eat. What do you think? Stay tuned. My Cuban cigars are done, and I've got today a Peruvian beer to drink with my Cuban cigars. Imported Cerveza from the Andes, Cristal, 1922. I don't know anything about this beer. <laughs> I saw it at the meat store and I said, I gotta have that. So I bought it. Here's the Frosty Root Boy mug. Let's pour it out, Rob. What do you think? How bad could it be? Oh, and I'm dry too. Let me tell you what. It's so hot out here. It's like, it's 95 degrees and it feels like 105. Well, I managed to pour it out anyway. Managed to pour the beer okay. Let's let's quaff the froth off of that, Rob. Take a quick sniff. Imported cerveza. Uh, I don't know if it's a lager or an ale or what. Uh, beer. 11.2 fluid ounces, but it doesn't say how much alcohol is in it. I guess we'll find out. I gotta have a drink. Uh, let's quaff the froth off it, Rob. What do you think? Ah, it's very tasty. I couldn't tell you what kind of beer it is, but whatever it is, let me get some of this Cuban cigar in my mouth. Stay tuned. Okay, I've got a wet paper towel standing by, and I've got a regular napkin standing by because I know this is going to be a sloppy mess just from looking at it. It's got all that uh, all that melty Swiss cheese in there and the pickles and the bacon and the pork. Look at that cheese oozing out of there. Can you see that? Let me get some of that in my mouth. Mmm. Good thing I have this wet paper towel here because it is sloppy. Mmm. Okay, it doesn't taste nothing like a Cuban cigar. Okay? <laughs> but, here's a dry one to follow up with. But, it does taste good. I shouldn't have threw that away. I should have hung on to that. Anyway, babies, you know what I always say, right? I say if you like this crap, please subscribe. If you don't, go open the iCard. Uh, I guess I'll have to put two eye cards because I got the idea for this from my buddy Jeff at Armadillo Pepper. Armadillo Pepper, I think is the name of his channel. 
Jeff, thanks for the idea. It's awesome. And I'll put another iCard to a new guy that I found, and I can't quite remember the name of his channel, Carnivores Barbecue or something like that, Carnivoresaurus or something. Anyway, he's got a cool channel. He's just getting up, uh, getting started. You gotta check him out. So there's gonna be two iCards. Two, two iCards. And if you get a chance to make these uh, Cuban cigars, I highly recommend them. They're sloppy, but good. I'm kind of, here's a piece of bacon that I'm not gonna let this go. I'm not letting this bacon get away. Mmm. There's nothing better than bacon cooked in fire and, and slathered with barbecue sauce. And the pickles are what makes this really good. Mmm. And it was a big mistake throwing away my wet paper towel already. But anyway, mm, that's good. That's my video. Sorry for chewing. We'll see you next week. Bye.